Hey, everybody. Dave Archer here again with you. We're going to talk about value in the draft. And these are the top 20 players in the draft, in my opinion. Now, we've talked about 16 through 20. We're now going to go 11 through 15 on the value board as the top player available. Now, I'm not talking about how they're going to fall in the draft. We're going to talk about how these players stack up against one another as far as best player available. Let's get started. Now let's look at 15 on the value board. Christian Derrishaw, big offensive tackle from Virginia Tech, six foot five, 314 pounds. He is an explosive point of attack blocker. They had an outstanding running game this year. He was able to come off at that tackle position, get to the second level. He's a road grader, does an excellent job of keeping his feet underneath him. His technique is outstanding, comes off the ball. Now this is a guy that does possibly have the opportunity and ability to kick inside. We talked about Vera Tucker in our first five we evaluated. This guy is very similar. He has the ability to play tackle, but also the versatility to maybe kick inside at 6'5", 314 pounds. Good experience in the pass pro, too. He has good feet, understands uh, spacing, does have a tendency to allow uh, the rushers to get to the edge, but he recovers nicely. I like Christian Derrishaw, the offensive tackle of Virginia Tech, at 15 on the value board. Let's go to 14. Zaven Collins. This is a guy that shot up yeah, out of nowhere out of Tulsa. The linebacker, six foot five, 259 pounder. This is an old school style linebacker. Now, you don't see guys this big at the linebacker spot, especially as explosive and athletic as he is. He is a guy that's excellent versus the run. His, his size would certainly indicate that, but he is pretty good in coverage. Now, he wasn't asked to play a lot of man coverage. He did a good job in the zone coverage. He has an understanding of reading and getting back in the zone where he's supposed to be looking up crossing routes. Does an excellent job with those type of things. He also has a pass rush mode to him. And we're going to talk about a couple of linebacker here coming up uh, or later on in our evaluations that has some pass rush ability, so some versatility to Zaven Collins, number 14 on our, on our value board. He has excellent spatial awareness in the zone coverage, but again, the one drawback, we did not see the big linebacker play a ton of man coverage. Does have excellent ball skills when it's in his area, but still a little bit limited as far as pass coverage. Let's go to 13 on the value board. This is our first corner coming off the board. J.C. Horn out of South Carolina has excellent size at 6'1", 205 pounds. A local product went to Alpharetta High School in Alpharetta, Georgia. So he would love to come home and play for his hometown Falcons play just up the road in Columbia, South Carolina. Now, this is a young man that has an outstanding skill set, as all these guys do at the top of the draft. Ideal size, excellent movement. He's a tough, competitive kid. What I like about this guy is he likes to mix it up. When you put this guy on tape, you'll see him going jousting on the outside with corners. He likes to come up and hit guys in the mouth. He loves the physicality of it almost to a detriment because he does get a little grabby with his hands from time to time, which can draw a penalty. That'll be something he'll definitely need to clean up. Also, this is a guy that played about half the season for South Carolina, a little more than half the season, and then opted out. Remember, Will Muschamp was dismissed as the head football coach. That signaled J.C. Horn was going to check out. Don't forget now, Horn has some legacy here. This is Joe Horn's son, former Falcon, former Saint wide receiver. So this is a kid that's been around the pro game and understands some of the nuances it takes to play at this level, the professionalism that goes into that. Joe Horn was an excellent professional. J.C. Horn checks in on our value board at 13, the first corner we've talked about. Number 12 on the value board, Zach Wilson, the quarterback from BYU. Now, this is a kid that's a bit of an enigma in the fact that he had some injury issues early in his career. He had an outstanding freshman year at BYU. He's six two and a half, two hundred and twelve pounds. Then he didn't have much of he didn't have a very good year his sophomore year, and then last year blew it up. Had a monster year. We all talked about how great this kid is. He's zooming up the draft table. Now, again, I'm evaluating him based on where I think he is from a value standpoint. This guy could go as early as the second pick of the draft. But when we start talking about Zach Wilson, all the throws, he can throw it anywhere at any arm angle. He also has some of that Mahomes-esque physical nature to him, if you will. He, he can throw the ball off schedule, off balance, going backpedaling. 
rolling to his left and throwing against his arm. He has all those throws, and everybody's kind of looking for that next Patrick Mahomes, right? Well, I'm not sure this guy is it, but he certainly has some of those attributes. There are some questions about who they played last year. Did not play a very difficult schedule. He had an outstanding year. But Zach Wilson, the quarterback from BYU, checks in at number 12. Let's go to number 11. Number 11 on the value board for me is Jalen Waddell, the wide receiver from Alabama. Now, th- there's a there's a tremendous value now trying to find that, that Tariq Hill type of wide receiver that we see from Kansas City, right? Uh, Alabama product, 5'10", 182 fans, ran 437 at the pro day that's obviously extremely quick he, he is a similar version of what Tariq Hill can give you because he can help in the return game as well outstanding return in fact that's how he got hurt at Alabama early in the year is returning kicks amazing speed I, you, you start to compare him a little bit to Henry Ruggs who came out a year ago as a number one pick for the Raiders uh, out of Alabama Ruggs probably has a little bit more top end speed not much I think Ruggs ran 429 this, this young man ran 4.37, so we're splitting hairs a little bit. But what this kid has is short area quickness that exceeds what Henry Ruggs in. This kid can make you miss in a phone booth. This is an outstanding quick quick receiver that if you put him in the slot, you got nightmares because that corner's got to come down and play him both ways. That's our value between 11 and 15 on our value board. We'll be back with you when we get back to 6 through 10.